Welcome back to another episode on the 72 Clubman Estates. So, I've done a little bit of work off camera, so we'll get stuck straight into the video because we've got a lot of welding to do. You see the welder's out, it's all ready to go. Um, so the half or quarter floor, as you call it, so up to the first flute, it took ages of trimming back, is one thing I will say. Um, and I basically, I want to keep as much of the car as possible because it'd be nice to see where all the drain plugs were and leave the floor looking as right as it should be. Um, so I'll show you in a second what I've been up to. But So the floor's now sat in place, cleaned up, ready to go. Um, all repairs need done have been done. Um, I say all repairs, all I've had to do is repair the bottom of the door bin, and I'll just show you that. Um, but yeah, we are, we are ready to go. So it's just a case of loads of welding. So what I've got to try and do guys is I'll keep moving the camera around some different angles for you. Um, but we just need to get this in now. I've had to chop the front of the new floor off just to be able to get it in. It's a lot easier if the car's on a spit or upside down. Um, and obviously the car's not built, but it's not too hard. I can kind of put all the pieces back in and it's made fitting it a lot easier. Um, so I'll show you what I mean in a second when I bring it in there, but it's time to just get loads of welding done. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this welding. Um, it's a big, big job off this car and then we can start thinking about the sill um, and then lower it down, starting on the other side. Right, so as you can see, um, I've just wire wheeled that very lightly to make sure there's no bad rust there. That is literally just a little bit of surface rust where the paint's lifted. Um, so we're gonna paint the rest of the floor kind of up to there, um, but I just wanted to know for sure it's okay. Right, so I've used these intergrips. If anyone doesn't know what they are, they are basically these, and then you've got that slided pin. So I've done it the other way around just so, so they're not in my way. Um, but basically you put the pin through and you just tighten it down and it brings your two sheet metal pieces back together. Um, I've got half of a floor drain plug there, but my plan is, because the other side's the same, I'm just gonna take that little piece of floor out and then we'll be able to put the two original drain plugs back in. That pulls up tight up to there. Um, same again, all the way along. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. I've retained this drain plug. I mean, I could have brought the new floor up to there. All this floor is really good, so I don't want to get rid of anything else that I don't need to. Um, so you've got all the original little carpet grips. So what I'm gonna do is just start tacking it all in um, for to repair the lower part of the bin down there. And as you, as you knew from the previous episode, the floor's not big enough to cover that piece, so I'll have to make that bit up in a second. Um, but the main thing is to get this in. Um, it's the big, big, big job done. So all of that's new in a seal and I kept the original seatbelt anchor and then that all pulls tight along there. So it's a case we'll get some tacks in and start using the hammer. So what I meant by I've had to cut the bottom of the flitch out and I just took the front of the floor out there. So I've got all these pieces and what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it all in and that piece goes like up in there and stuff like that. So obviously I need to clean all that metal up. I just want to get this piece in then structures back to the car. Um, I can probably get rid of this brace out of the way then and get in there a lot easier. So we do all them little repairs at the front. I didn't want to have to cut the flitch out, being quite frank, I don't. Um, the profile around here on the floor, it's worth noting, this is no machine panel, isn't the best. So what I've done is I've slit the floor and I'm gonna hammer that, and weld it and hammer it and weld it and try and get that look in the factory as nice as possible. Um, I know this is a repair job, but I want it to look as nice as it possibly can for Pete. And you know, it's, it's a really original car. I know it's not an original repair, but it's, I want to look at you know, when you pull up the carpet, yeah, that looks nice, that. And I'll grind it all back and make it look really nice. Um, so, yeah, it's a case of uh, getting going with it. So I'll get you guys set up. so that's it tacked in all the way along started doing a few stitches um, but yeah we are getting there so panel welds really well and machine panels do weld really well they're just obviously this is taking a bit of time to get in but 
it's looking good. So like I say, I'm gonna get all that welded along and then hammer and dolly that profile back in. But we're getting there. Nice heat penetration for all the welds as well. So, right, keep going. Right, so that's all the welding done to get the floor in anyway. So the floor, like I say, you can see kind of I've done a tack and then done a seam. So I'm really happy with the welding, it's gone really well. Um, obviously it needs linishing back, which we're gonna crack onto next. We've done the repair a bit further up there as well. Just kind of see it, a um, bit extra, but obviously we'll ground that back. It's covered by the battery box anyway. Um, and then here, I'll make that circle again. Um, and then join that together. So it looks kind of factory. Hopefully I can get it linished back nicely but that's the next point of call. Then obviously we need to make a piece to go in there, which we will cover when we do the seal. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is do that off camera, then we'll just crack on and get the seal done in the next episode. All right, let me set you up again. Let's get this ground back as best I can. Right, buzzing with that. That's come back really nice. So, good bit of paint on that now. I won't paint it yet, because it's got a little bit more cleaning up to do. Um, and obviously we want to sort that out, but really happy. I mean, yeah, a little bit more work with the grinder. And it, it won't be far away really, really happy with that so yeah right so absolutely buzzing with that so the floor the main main panel is in um loads of tidying back to do that's not how it would be done but i could grind away all day um i've got some fire sheets which i'm going to chuck over the back seats to get really involved with grinding you saw me moving the wood board around there to protect the interior um it's not ideal but at the end of the day you can't always strip a car um, you're just doing light repair, so you can use fire blankets and stuff over car over your seats and stuff like that. Um, I'm very cautious over cars anyway, so don't worry for people dropping a comment saying I'm ruining the interior. I definitely am not. Um, this this car is way too nice to do that to. So obviously it's gonna get dusty, but you know the car get a really nice clean after. But I'm really happy the big big panels in the car now is structurally right, which is the main thing moving forward. Um, off camera, I'll probably sort out that flitch panel. Get that folded around, get that on. I might just time that, time out that. Maybe we we'll start the next video with that. Um, but it is literally, I'm going to make a panel, fold it, cut it, get it welded in, and then that ties off that corner. And then it's time to get the seal on. So it'd be really good. I have got a little piece to make for the the rear hill board, but I'll do that once the seal's in place. And I can fold it around the seal, um, so it looks nice and factory and right. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. So this is the big job done on this car now. I'm hoping the other side isn't going to be that hard. Um, it's got the original seal, but the inner seal does look quite bad on it as well. So we'll see, um, we might have to make a few repairs, but thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It is massively appreciated. We're really going for 5,000 subscribers at the moment. We're so close guys, we're so close. So if you, if you view and you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing, ring the bell for notifications. And yeah, please give the video a big thumbs up um, if you're enjoying it. So like I say, this is only welding work to this car. Um, and then we do a bit of a detail after, he, um, um, after we've done all the work on it. But yeah, we're rattling through Pete Mates cars and um, I'm really enjoying it. I like working on Cobblands. There's not many of them about. Um, we took our one for a nice drive over at the weekend. 
and yeah, okay, ours is a bit tatty, but it's just fun to be out in it. They're a fun little car to have a club and estate, so really, really nice. So thank you for watching once again. Please drop in the comments below if you, if you, know, if you use their machine panels and stuff like that, comment away. Um, if you haven't already, check out our sponsors in the description below, Frost Restoration. Um, but yeah, catch you next one, guys. Stay safe.